To get the most out of Touch DRO, it needs to be configured correctly. Let's walk through the best settings for your milling machine. This is done in the application settings. To get there, tap the menu button next to the Touch DRO logo. Select Settings from the application menu. This will bring you to the application settings screen. The first setting is machine type. The default is vertical mill. If you have a horizontal mill or a surface grinder, pick horizontal mill. Otherwise, you can skip it. If you use primarily metric units, turn on the metric mode setting. The next item, use shared tool library, is here for legacy reasons. It's best to leave it off. Same for the use USB connection. Now we are getting to the interesting part. Tap user interface settings. Readout display format determines how many digits you will see after the decimal point. In most cases, you will want the middle option. If you use eye gauging scales, the first option might work better. For a surface grinder or a jig borer with micron scales, you might want the last option. Readout display font and the two settings under UI behavior are a matter of personal preference. The defaults are okay, so let's skip to the function strip preferences. Here you can turn off function buttons, which you don't need. If you want to declutter the screen a bit, turn off both of the whole circle functions and the whole grid. They are easily accessible from the Add Subdatum menu. When done, go back to the main touch DRO screen. Before making other changes, let's tweak the font size. Let's add a subdatum so we can check how it looks. Take a close look at the icon button on the right panel. Finally, tap the delete icon and check the text in the confirmation dialog. If the icons or the text size are too small or too large, they are easy to change. Open your tablet's settings application. On most tablets, you can swipe down in the upper right corner of the screen until you see the notification panel. The gear icon in the upper right corner will open the tablet settings application. In the settings, look for the section called Display. Your screen might look different from mine, but the section should be there. There, you should have an option for font size. On mine, it's called Font Size and Style. On this tablet, I like the size to be a bit larger than default. Go back to Touch DRO and see if the size works better for you. Let's now configure the settings for the main axis readouts. Open the Touch DRO setting page again. Select X axis settings. Let's tweak the buttons that show up next to each readout. This is a matter of personal preference, so my suggestions are just a starting point. Primary button is good as is. Set 0 is the most commonly used function, so it's good in the first spot. I set my second button to hold. It is very useful when switching tools. To make the change, tap the second action button and select hold, set position. Many tablets have enough screen real estate for two buttons when the right panel is expanded. Let's see if yours does. Turn on Show When Collapsed option. I will set my third axis button to Absolute Incremental Mode. We will skip the input settings. They will be covered in more detail in the Scale Calibration video. Let's go back to the main Touch DRO screen and see how things look. If the screen layout looks OK, we can configure the other axis readouts. Otherwise, change the button settings for the X axis until you like the layout. Set the Y axis buttons the same as we did for X. The process is identical, so we won't cover it again. Now let's go into the Z axis settings. If you have scales only on the X and Y axis, turn off Enable Z axis. This will hide it from the DRO screen. Otherwise, you can set the buttons to match the other two axes. The process is the same as X and Y, so let's skip it and jump to the input settings. Many milling machine DROs have two scales for the Z axis. One could be mounted to the head or the knee of the machine, and the other to the quill. If you have DRO scales on both movements, turn on the secondary input. 
To enable access summing, set the prefix to W. We are done here for now. Let's go back to the main settings screen. Angular axis is used for a rotary table, so we can skip it for now. If you are going to connect a tachometer to the touch GRO, select tachometer settings. Turn on enable tachometer. Tap the tachometer pulses per revolution. Enter the number of openings or magnets for your encoder disk. When done, exit back to the application settings. We will cover touch probe settings in a separate video. For now we are done with the settings page. Let's jump back to the main screen and check the results. If everything looks good on your tablet, you're done with the initial setup. Before you can start using your DRO, you still need to calibrate your scales. This will be covered in a separate video. The link to the video and the user manual page is in the description. This is all for now. Thank you for watching.